Chinese land. Now, the circulars that you have give an exact description as to their location. It is our duty to see that you do not start before the appointed time. When the bugle sounds, you may go. And I hope that each one of you will deal fairly with the others. Now, get ready. <laughs> they leave here, our work is finished. But theirs is just beginning. <laughs> Got a hankering to get in on the big rush and get some land, son? Not for me, Dad. I'll take mine the hard way. Trail herding. I was just thinking. You and I have guided a lot of these people over hard trails to get in this land rush. I wonder how many of them will wish they'd never come. Well, you did as much for them as you could. Safe trip, no trouble. Got them here ahead of time agreed. Takes pretty good trail herding to do that. Oh, uh, how was your trip, John? Come through all right? Made it fine. A luck, I guess. Yeah, you would call it luck. Well, we've had our share of it so far. Uh, I was kind of hoping that you'd get in on this land rush and maybe settle down and go to ranch. There's Hannah, you know. Always figured you two would hit it off first rate. Well, there's a lot of time for that, Dad. I feel I owe you something, and the business, too. We've been at it too long to just drop it. Got contracts with big outfits. People in this country depend on us. Besides, I want to carry on your reputation, leading outfits safely through the wilderness. Well, let's forget about giving it up right now. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Pat Miller sent word that he wants me to lead that Myers and Miller outfit through the new strip. Fine. I'll wait there till you come in, then we'll hit the trail back together. That'll be great, Dad. <laughs> Sound the charge. Here they go. I sure wish them luck. Consideration must be our church. Have we enough hymn books to go around? I'm sure we have plenty. Ace in control of all the dance halls. I thought it'd be easy. Life will be hard getting started here, but we'll make a go of it, Dad. And what's more, we'll be happy. Ace Holmes and his crowd are running the saloon and gambling games 24 hours a day, making things mighty unpleasant for a lot of our town folks. They're a bad crowd, and with no law enforcement in the community, they run things to suit themselves. But there isn't anything we can do about it. Not until we get the citizens together and elect a peace officer. Looks like trouble at the palace. Let's go down and see what it is this time. What happened, Joe? The fellow claims we cheated him at the card table. Went for his gun and I had to let him have it. 
He didn't go for his gun. Everybody knows that Bert Sawyer never carried a gun. You know that, Mr. Lewis. He made a quick move for the hip. How did I know he didn't have a gun? The man acted like he was going to draw, and he should have been more careful. Looks to me like self-defense. I'd like to have a talk with you folks. How long can we go on living under this constant roar of guns, not knowing which one of us will be next? Bert Sawyer was a fine man. The fall to be killed since we've been here. We've got to have law on this new frontier before these men tear down completely the thing we are trying to build. Tom Lewis, you are right. But who can we get that is capable of handling these men? Why not put it up to Milt Dawson, our scout? He proved his courage when he led us in here. Maybe he'd take the job. That's a good idea. If anyone can handle them, Milt Dawson is the fellow. Don't peek. All ready? Now you can look. A birthday cake. <laughs> Only one candle? Well, you're being very kind. Well, they only had one at the general store. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and blow it out. Oh, good for you. <laughs> you know, I'd have plumb forgot it was my birthday. But you always seem to remember it. Why shouldn't I? It was on your birthday that I first met John. Don't you remember? That's right. We were working for the latter's outfit. I was breaking John in as a trail packer. You know, uh, the men say he's a much better leader than you are. Well, he ought to be. I taught him all the old tricks, and he's put all the new fangled, dangled methods with him. <laughs> He'll be leading that Miller Myers outfit in here any day now. You'll be glad to see him, won't you, Hannah? Oh, you bet I will. You know, the folks back in Kansas are betting as to when you and John are going to get hitched up. Well, you know, we, we have talked of marriage, but John said he didn't want to get married as long as he was in this business. And, oh, I wish he'd get out of it. He'll have to give it up soon. With the new railroads reaching into the wasteland, there won't be work for us always. Can we come in, Milt? Sure thing. Glad to have you. Hello, Dad. Milt, we've come to you for help. Well, what do you want of me, Tom? We need law here. And with your reputation, you're the man for it. Milt, we've come to ask you to be our sheriff. I'm afraid I can't take it. Oh, you can name your own price. Oh, it ain't the money, folks. My boy and I have obligations that we must live up to. Outfits to guide across these plains. Packing people is my business, not packing a star. You guided us in here, Milt. And when there was trouble on the trail, you straightened it out without a killing. There's trouble here now, and we're asking you to lend a hand. All right, Parson. I'll go up there and see what can be done. business was, you'd never been in the part of it I packed in here. What do you mean? I don't like your game. Why, the town needs saloons. But it don't need slaughterhouses. Meaning? Meaning this rough stuff must stop. Since when do I take orders from you? Your job was finished when you brought us in here, and I don't need your advice. I ain't advising you. I'm telling you.
he's dead. Shot in the back. Who did this? This gentleman is the boundary line between Kansas and Oklahoma. Here we are in Big Pines. You want me to lead you to Frontier. Here's the route I intend to follow. To Dead Flats, southwest to Mohawk, dropping down into Wagon Springs, and from there into Frontier. That way we avoid Cherokee Pass and Deep Meadows. For reasons of my own, this is the safest route, and the one we'll take. Is that agreeable? Well, uh, avoiding these places, Dawson, while you add a uh, hundred or more miles to our trip. I know it, but there are some Indians in this territory that are not friendly to the white man. And you want me to take you safely to Frontier? Well, I feel that's the only route I can take you over. But these added miles means loss of days. When we get to Frontier, the best land will be gone. No, we won't go that way. We'll lose too much time. Well, it's your outfit, Mr. Myers. But you'll have to hire someone else. Wait a minute, Dawson. Will you let us talk this over a bit? Oh, sure, Pat. Go ahead. Now, don't be a fool, Myers. You're passing up one of the greatest trail leaders in the country. Why, he and his father have the reputation for making the fastest time and seldom have any trouble. That's why I ask him to take the job. He can pick his own trail any time for my money. But don't you see these extra miles means loss of days in getting there? Yes, but we get there safely. And that's what counts. Ain't it, boys? Oh, but you right, 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 to be a little right. late and get there safe. Mm. Well, maybe so. I guess you're right. All right, I'll agree to it so we can get started. All right, Dawson. We'll take our deal and go the way you say. Well, thanks, Mr. Myers. I'm sure you'll be satisfied. Oh, I know that. One more thing. When we leave here, I'm in complete charge. And I give all orders. Oh, to be sure. That's understood. Now, when can we get underway? Just as soon as you can get them rolling. Let's get hitched up. Yes.
you ought to hit town tomorrow around sunup, eh, Dawson? Won't miss it by half an hour, Pat. You sure know this country backwards. Well, that's what I get paid for. Keep rolling along, Pat. I'll go on up ahead and see how much trouble we're going to have for it in the river. Big outfit, kid. Seem to recognize the leader. New man, maybe. Don't make no difference. We gotta have food. Yeah, and what goal they've got. Let's hit them. I guess you know what we're after. Now shell out the food and gold with the outfit. Wait a minute, kid. What are you doing? Hold your guns. I didn't know this was your outfit, or I want to cut down on you. Guess you know that, John. Still at the old game, eh, Kit? We were headed into the frontier, and we ran out of grub. Most starved. That's the reason we jumped this outfit. We got to have food. I'm willing to pay you well for it, John. You know I don't deal in your kind of money. Ah, he's yellow. Let him have it. I said no guns, and I'm running this outfit. Thanks, kid. What do you mean, thanks? You beat him to the gun. Well, I didn't want to shoot it. It had started something. You're right, John. They mean business. We can forget about the gold, but we got to have food. You know, kid, it's a funny thing. Just before you came along, I decided to unload some weight, make some speed. I'm leaving 300 pounds of provisions right here. And I expect to find the same amount here on my way back through with my dad next week. I got you.
Thanks. You'll find it here on your way out. And I'll pay you back with interest. So long, kid. And you called him yellow. You better pick another color. You don't know it, but I saved your life by shooting you in the hand. He's faster than I am. Now, there's your food. It looked like we were done for a minute. And we would have been, too, if there'd been anybody else but Dawson handling it. He ain't never lost anything through outlaws yet. Folks say he has a charm over him. And it's a lucky thing for us that we hired him. There goes the squarest man I ever met. He's a great friend, and I'd hate to have him for an enemy. No man ever double-crossed him. They like him too well. Or afraid of him, maybe. I can't figure it out, but whatever it is, they ain't too like him. You found me once with a bullet in my back and a price on my head, and packed me 40 miles into town. To the law? No. To the doctors. He took care of me till I was well, and fetched me back to where he found me, and said there was no harm done to the law for what he'd done for me. You can't cross a fella like that. These men have shown they've no regard for life. We must appeal to the government and ask for a troop of cavalry. And with them to back us up, a sheriff can then maintain order. It's a long trip back to the fort. Who can we get to go? My boy Henry will, and he knows the trail pretty well. I sure will, and right away. I'm telling the colonel just what's going on here. And get back as quick as you can. John Dawson just pulled into town. We'd better break the news to him here. Uh, Phil, go tell him I want to see him. You know, business will be getting better with that new outfit putting in here. If you'll step back to the wagon, John, Myers will pay you off. Thanks, Pat, but I'll get it later. I want to see Dad first. All right. You know who that is, don't you? No, who? That's Milt Dawson's boy, John. I've got a hunch he's going to ask a lot of questions. And you'd better have some answers ready. Hello, Phil. How are you, Dawson? Tom Lewis wants to see you right away. Oh, I was just trying to find Dad. I got a surprise for him. But I guess it can wait. Hello, I got a present for you. And wait till you see what I got for Dad. Hello, Ted. Hello, folks. Hello, Mr. Shaw. Glad to see you, Parsons. Hello, John. Got a nice church here. Yes. Hello, Mr. Lewis. How are you? Hello, son. Say, what's the matter? Well, you folks are acting, you think somebody was dead. I've got some bad news for you. What's happened? about Dad? Yes. What is it? He was killed. What? Yes. Shot in the back. The First Chance Saloon. 
He went there for us to make peace. And you solemnly swear to uphold the law to the best of your ability? I do. Six o'clock tonight, you'll close this place, and it stays closed. What are you talking about? As sheriff of this town, I'm serving you notice that if this place is in operation after that time, I'm arresting you. I'm running this place. And I'm running this town. Six o'clock is a deadline. And I let him get away with that. If he comes back here again, I'll shoot that star right through him. Pepper just rode into town. He said Norton and his gang are laying low over at Rainbow Falls. Yeah, I know it. You think it means trouble? I know it does, but not for me. I talked with Norton and made a deal with him. What for? To get rid of Dawson and lend us a hand in case we need it. Well, you'll need it, all right. The town's folks are up in arms. You're driving them out. That's just what I'm aiming to do. Drive them out so I can take over their lands and lease them to the newcomers. Then I can run this town to suit myself. Ace, cards is your game. Not only the town. You'd better stick to gambling. Yeah? You watch me. John knows what he's doing, Anna. But he can't do it by himself. Why don't you wait till the government help arrives? They may not get here for a long time. Besides, I can't back down now. He's right, Anna. He's got to go through with it. Come on. Smile a little. Lots of things can happen between now and six o'clock. Hello, Phil. Fella gave me this note for you. Thanks. What is it? Nothing. One of the boys wants to see me. It'll be easy. I know where they keep the money and every move they make. And that ain't all. Ace Holmes is running things here. Ace Holmes, eh? When we go for the gold tonight, I'll square that little debt with him for shooting me in the back once. You better get back.
All right, boys. Don't turn around till you drop that gun. Unbuckle that belt. Now reach. Thought I was to meet my man at the head of the falls. Well, yeah, that's right. They're waiting for you there. And it looks like you didn't expect me to get that far. No, I'm just guarding the trail. I see. If he got by Pete, he'll be here any minute. Just to make sure this ain't no trap, you'll ride in on my horse. And I'll be right behind you, so no false moves. That's him. Give it to him. and tricked us. But you can't get out of here on foot. Take shortcut the river and block the pass. We'll go to the bridge. Stop him now. Get down and help the boys.
What time is it, Tom? It's past six. After six, Ace, you didn't close. You're under arrest. Why, you tin horn, you couldn't arrest anybody. I'll trouble you for your guns. Sure. On the bar. I'll get back. to settle a personal debt with you, Ace. But I think John will want to talk to you first. So I'll wait around. Get him out of here, boys. Bring him up to the church. Get all of our men in here quick. You, Tex, go out and bring in the Norton gang. Way out on the range, we roam a band of outlaws. No one knows our name. We linger in and they sent me to get you. Light up them torches and get mounted. When did this happen? We made him sheriff after his father was killed. Hello, kid. What are you doing here? Just paying a little interest on my debt to you. Thanks. Killed his father? Who? Oh. Wait a minute, Kit. You once told me that if I ever needed help, to call on you. 
Well, I'm needing it now. You name it. It's got to be my way, Kit. On the side of law. What do you mean? I'm going to make you and your men my deputies. Well, I never thought I'd be invited to be a star packer, but here goes. Good. I'll swear you all in. Well, now we can do anything we want. Anything he tells you. Remember, Kit, no shooting unless we have to. Dawson, Ace is aiming to clean up the town. Why, Tom, this ain't for you. And besides, somebody's got to stay here and take care of the women folks. He's going to make them like law and order. This town is ours, and we'll prove it to him right now. It's a showdown, Ace. What's your answer? Here it is! Get into the ditch!
Ride him down. divine strength that we may hasten the day of peace on earth and goodwill to all men. Shooting at their backs, hey? Ace. Guess I've either left my debts, John. They always said I'd die with my boots on. Do me a favor, will you? Take them off. Sure. and tragedy endured by you, the pioneers, who fought lawlessness to the end that there shall be peace and happiness in the years to follow. <laughs> 